that, 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 was, that was too easy. All right, I want to make sure you can do derivatives and in integrals of this next problem. Uh, what if our velocity was 60 times 1 minus e to the negative t? Do y'all remember how to take derivatives and integrals of e to some power? Because I had, I actually gave a problem like this on a test. Everybody failed it. Uh, so let me remind you. Uh, what is, so this, this is kind of a side note. I don't know, go back to high school. I, I, I learned these in terms of x, maybe. What is the derivative of e to the 4x? What do y'all think? Anybody? 4e to the 4x. All right. So, so you, you don't change that coefficient. You know, derivative, if it's e to the 4x, it's still e to the 4x. It's not e to the 4 or e to the x or something. So leave that, that um, exponent the same. Uh, and then you multiply it times the derivative of the x function. What's the derivative of 4x? It's 4. Okay, so, but the main thing, just leave e to the 4x, leave it as e to the 4x, multiply the chain rule, right, the derivative of the exponent. And so what, what's the integral of e to the 4x? Uh, it, it, still e to the 4x to divide by the derivative of the exponent. So just to review, so, so now it's definitely a fair game on test. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So let's do the problem. Uh, one other thing that's definitely a fair game is just sines and cosines, derivatives of sines and cosines. I will not ask you derivatives of cosine squared or double angle or you know, secant or tangent, anything, just sines and cosines, exponents. LN, natural log. Uh, so, all right. All right, but anyway, velocity is 60 times 1 minus e to the negative t. Determine the distance traveled. I'm going to change this. We're going to talk next class about the difference in distance traveled versus change in position. Many times, yes, distance is your change in position, but Sometimes the distance you, you walk more than your change of position if you change directions, right? Uh, let's determine the change of position after three seconds and the acceleration after three seconds. I'm given velocity and I want position. Is that a derivative or an integral? Given velocity and we want to find position. Integral. integral yeah yeah um and but then the next half of it if, if we were given velocity and we want acceleration that's a derivative so it's almost two separate problems let's kind of separate this first let's do an integral to find the position and after we finish that problem then we're gonna take velocity and, and do a derivative to find acceleration all right so let's find the change of position how about this one we'd say the integral of ds equals the integral of v dt so the integral of 60 times 1 e to the negative t. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the 60 through 60 e to the negative t. So I'm taking the, the integral of this. So this would be s. I'm going to do these as definite integrals. s initial, s final, so sf minus si. Uh, and that is what I'm looking for. That is the change in position. All right, so the integral of 60 would be 60t. The integral of negative 60e to the negative t, I'm leaving it as e to the negative t, but I need to divide by the derivative of that integral, negative t. So, all right, this just becomes plus. All right, but. I can either put plus C or I can make this a definite integral on both sides, T initial to T final. All right, so I'm going from zero to three. I'm trying to find the change of position, which is, that's, that's what I've got on the left-hand side. I've got change of position on the right-hand side. I like to do these as definite integrals. So let me plug in 360 times 360 e to the negative three. Minus. Now, nine times out of ten, I don't have to plug in that t is equal to zero. 
because my it normally is equal to zero. And when I plug in t is equal to zero right here for 60t, yes, I, I get zero. Uh, but be very, very careful with these exponents because e to the zero is not zero. So, and I don't mean to like trick you or anything on the test, but I want you to slow down and do the math, make sure you're doing it right. Uh, so this would actually be uh, 60 times e to the zero, e to the zero is one, uh, right? Because anything with raised to the zero power is one. All right, so then I, I, I can just plug that in my calculator. E is just a number, right? 2.73 something's in your calculator. <laughs> plug this in and I've got 123 feet. So my change of position, 123 feet. All right, now let me answer the second part of it. what's the acceleration after three seconds? What's the acceleration after three seconds? Uh, well, let me take the derivative. Acceleration is dv dt. So the derivative of the derivative with respect to time of 60 minus 60e to the negative t. Derivative of 60 is, is nothing, right? But the derivative of negative 60e to the negative t times negative 1, right? So we could just put positive 60e to the negative t. So there's my equation for, let's do that. 60e to the negative t, that's my equation for acceleration. And let me answer the question. When t is equal to 3, acceleration is 2.99 <laughs> feet per second squared. Please be careful. I not necessarily like to use English units, but I'll definitely throw out feet, inches, you know, I'm not afraid to use English units. Uh, so let's make sure your units are correct. Easy points to lose, you know, by putting feet per second when it should be meters per second. Um, so I don't mean to be nitpicky or to be mean, but there's definitely a difference in feet and meters. And it helps me to know that you're paying attention, right? You are um, doing these problems well.